Hello class, um, today I'm going to be talking about Pompeii, also known as the lost city of Rome, and we'll be talking about some of the history around the city and also um, what it's most notably known for, the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. So starting out, um, from the early history, Pompeii is often best known as like a Roman city and a Roman territory, but um, from its beginnings it was actually ruled by many other people as well. Um, the first elements date back to the uh, 8th century BCE, and up until the 6th century BCE, the settlement actually wasn't even solely ruled by one community, and it had many influences from uh, different regions as well. Uh, this was mostly due to the fact that it's a coastal city, so a lot of people had access to the city itself. Um, and the, because it was a coastal city, it was really flourishing and became pretty popular. It had a good amount of um, flow of income. Uh, as it was used as a means of transport, uh, transporting goods and other um, services as well. So during the Samnite period, um, large areas of the city were actually being abandoned. Um, the Samnites conquered Pompeii and the surrounding territories between 423 and 420 BCE. And with the new rulers, the town itself was actually enlarged. So a lot of the initial parts of the city went abandoned while other parts were enlarged and grew as well. Um, after the Samnite Wars, Pompeii was forced to become associate to Rome. Um, associate is one of the allies and uh, someone who's kind of like pledging their allegiance to Rome. And they showed their faith uh, to Rome during the Second Punic War as they helped with that. And the city continued to flourish as well um, due to the fact that it's a coastal city and had a lot of trade. So during the Roman period, they broke their faith to Rome in the social wars. Um, the social wars were uh, kind of a war against Rome from all the other societe where uh, all of Rome's allies kind of turned against Rome. Um, but Pompeii was conquered by the, Roman, by the Romans and they were forced to surrender, becoming a Roman colony. So all the people who were um, Pompeians were now also Romans and they assimilated into that culture as well. Um, so being a coastal city, Pompeii continued to be a passage for many goods that arrived by sea, and Augustus brought even more expansion into the city as well. Um, most notably, a lot of new defenses were built for the city. Uh, they built a lot of walls surrounding the city, kind of just keeping it safe. Um, so next we're going to be talking about the eruption of Vesuvius. Mount, Sof Mount Vesuvius was the volcano that erupted by um, Pompeii and it happened in 79 AD. And um, to this day we've recovered about 1100 bodies uh, that were a result of the eruption itself. So the eruption lasted for two days and it started with the pumice rain. The pumice rain gave a lot of people a kind of warning about what was to come. Once they saw that happening, they quickly got out. Um, but for the people who did not get out, um, some tried to stay and collect all of their belongings before they left and just didn't make it out in time. So bodies were actually preserved in up to six meters of volcanic debris from the uh, volcano itself. Um, and like I said, they were preserved. Their last final moments were preserved as well. As you can see, their outlines and their bodies um, kind of still in shape. Um, some facial features can even be made out of some of the people who were recovered. And it's interesting to see that a lot of the people who uh, were killed during the eruption, you can see them holding onto some of their valuable items, um, like their silver and their other valuable belongings. Um, so soon after the eruption, there were people who came to pillage the city um, some survivors came back to try to claim some of their um, some of their valuables that were not lost, but for everything that was buried under the ash, it remained that way for many centuries. So then the city was abandoned, um, and it was up until around the 1500s when people started to do more um, archaeological work on it again. So it went untouched for many, many years, and yet we still have such good records of what happened during this time. So that's about it for this presentation. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.